Well, Liam, thank you very much for taking the time to speak to us. A, a really good first win on tour yesterday. You must be delighted with that. 4-0 over Ahmed El Sayed and four breaks over 50. So uh, you know, how pleased are you to, to get a big win there? Yeah, and pleased with how I did it because obviously I could have hand out differently, but to score how I did, I think I was happy with that. And it was pretty fast as well. And how has it been on, on tour so far? Obviously, you've had a, a couple of deciding frame beats yeah. and, and things. So did that make it all all the better to to get a win yesterday? Yeah, and I think it. Yeah, it's been it's it's different because when you're an amateur, you've got competitions every weekend, and I think I went through one period of having a comp every weekend for about twenty four weeks, something stupid. And so obviously now I'm playing a match, and it's one game. And then I've got an, in a month, it's another game. So it's different. And there's like more importance on those games. So yeah, to to win how I did was much better. And yeah, I mean, how, how important do you think that amateur grinding has been for you then coming on tour? Because, you know, as you say, when you're playing week in, week out and, and you've got you know good competition, you obviously played Stan Moody in that WSF final. So I, I, I suppose that hopefully has kind of prepared you to, to be where you are now. Yeah, I think I think that was the probably probably the biggest match that I learned from, to be honest. Just to how how to think and the mental side, because that was my first, I think, first match playing for a tour card. And uh it's just a different type of pressure. And I think only when you're playing for that type of pressure you you, you only understand. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I remember speaking to you about that, and you were saying how, how disappointing it was was to lose and yeah. how difficult it was to to get over. But I suppose that's something you've got to learn as well. The big matches don't always kind of go your way, and you've got to be able to bounce back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think learning how to bounce back afterwards because it took me it took me I'd probably say like a month afterwards to recover and like start practicing well again. Because afterwards, I was just I was practicing hard, but my head wasn't in the right place sort of thing and yeah it was a tough time <laughs> yeah and I, I mean yeah, I suppose also it, it, that was out, out in Australia wasn't it so it was um a, an experience going a, a, abroad for an event which is something hopefully yeah. you could I've obviously you know fell short in the in the Wuhan qualifying but if you could try and get into Tianjin or any of the ones going forward that'd yeah. be a good experience for you yeah yeah I think I've got Graham Dot in the international championship on the twentieth or twenty first. I can't remember, but yeah, that should be good. And, and what would it be like? You know, how keen are you to try and experience, get these experiences going abroad and, and traveling on tour? As I suppose part and parcel of being a professional sportsman. Yeah, because I've heard it's like a, a different world over there. They treat you differently because over here people don't really recognize you, but over there it's like everything everyone stays in the same hotel or something everyone stays close together and like there's fans and stuff so yeah it'd be cool really cool yeah no it's, it's good it's all sorts of red carpet yeah I, I didn't want to say that but i think it is red carpet yeah <laughs> yeah no 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 it'll be a, it'll be a good experience but um yeah, and we we met we mentioned um obviously Stan Moody in that WSF final, and I, I know you've obviously kind of grown up going up against each other, haven't you? And you know, you're obviously living close close proximity to each other. So you know, what what's it like being kind of having battles with him over the years, and now kind of coming on to tour at the same time as him? Uh, yeah, I think obviously he's moved down to Birmingham, Walsall area, so it's a bit further away now. But yeah, I remember, I remember when we were growing up, and we were about twelve or thirteen. We, I think played English under fourteen final, and yeah, that like stuff like that it was. We obviously thought that was the be all or end all, um, and yeah, for me, I, I think I lost three spotted black in the decider, so you can't get any closer than that. And yeah, I was in bits, <laughs> but yeah, like growing up together, obviously playing against each other, having good games. Yeah, it's it's good. Good to go up. How much are you looking forward to going up against him on tour at some point? I'm sure it'll happen. Yeah, it? I'm sure it'll happen. Um, the draw will find a way, but yeah, we could be hopefully playing, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm not too bothered. I just look forward to each game, you know, and try and win. And, and we spoke, spoke recently also about the fact that actually from your generation, there are quite a lot of kind of guys coming through, like kind of Liam Davis as well and, and, and Liam Graham and, and, and things. Like, you know, 
I, I suppose it shows that the, you know the future is bright for snooker. You, you know, there's a, a lot of you guys kind of coming through. You know, yeah, there there is quite a few good players, but I think because of COVID, there's been like a generation missed. Sort mm. of like after us, us four or five players. There's not there's not many really. So yeah, it's there's a couple of good players at the club, youngsters, but they've still got a lot of years to learn and stuff like that. You know, because they're only like ten. And uh, how, you know, in terms of your your time coming on to tour now, how, how, what have you you learned in the, these kind of first few months? How, what what do you think has kind of been the main learning curves for you going forward? Um, I think trying to understand mentally that um, it's not a very important match each game. Trying to like relieve the pressure, sort of thing, because. I think early on I was building up a bit of pressure because the next game is like a month away or I really want to qualify for this venue, this and that. But you got to try and think of it differently and just it's another game, another game, another game. You try and it's a different pressure really. Just you're playing less games. Yeah, it's it's weird, but I think that's probably the biggest thing I'll, I'll take out of it. And did that kind of attitude and approach help you yesterday? It seemed obviously like yeah. a very fluid performance and you kind of showed yeah. your great building ability and things. So, you know, that yeah. must be pleasing. Yeah, I think, yeah, just relaxing more out there and I felt comfortable. Obviously, I was working on a few uh, weaknesses as well in my practice after my last few losses. And I think it came into fruition and was better then. And I was going to ask you, I know someone who's helped you a lot with, with your career so far is, is Peter Lyons. How, you know, how much of an influence has, has he had on you and how much has he helped you get to where you are? Oh, yeah, he's huge, huge advantage driving my corner. Um, can't thank him enough. But obviously, I think now now it's I'm playing obviously professionally. Um, after each game, because he, like, he can watch it. Before any amateur games, you could never really watch it. It was never streamed or... If he was to come and watch the game, it would be hours away, so it's pointless. But I think now he can watch the games. He can Obviously, the last match I lost to Jamie Jones, I, was, I could have won that game, I think, 5-3. Um, and obviously, he worked on my weaknesses and, yeah, I've got to try and make them strengths. But, yeah, he's very, very important to have in my corner, I think. Yeah, how important is that actually when you've you've had those difficult defeats to have someone in your corner to then kind of talk talk back through it and kind of rationalise, you know, maybe yeah. and, and and kind of regroup. Yeah, because I think to be honest, he helped me a lot after Australia. I think that was the probably the best he helped me to be honest, because it I was obviously at my lowest as well. So, like to think I got through Q school after losing in the final of the world was he just definitely helped me with that just to get over it mentally. And say, look, you've you've done all right. <laughs> you've done pretty well, and you should be proud. Although I wasn't proud of myself, but you should be proud. But yeah, he just improves my game a lot. And and looking ahead, you know what what are the sort of you know the targets for the rest of the season? Obviously, you've got the, the final stages of the English Open now to to look forward to. But what 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 else are you kind of setting yourself up? Um, I, I think it's more so over the two years. Obviously, you want to stay on tour after the two years. I think I'm learning a few things now in my first year, but I suppose it would be over the two years staying in the 64. I think that's what your target's got to be, really, to stay on tour. Well, it's a good target, and uh, I'm sure you'll have a really good go at achieving it. All the best, Liam. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Cheers, mate.